Hello, this is easy, and I'm going to show you how to get your uh, UVs back, or UV islands back. And uh, I'm going to show you because when we use the cube mesh here, it will destroy it. I'm going to use a couple applications because um, it's going to be a little bit more simple. This hoodie was made by Bangs Marvelous Designer 2. It was exported with a unified uh, UVs, um, so we can have the UVs signed to it. As you can see, we don't see any poly groups, but if we come over to the poly groups here and auto groups with UVs, um, these are our groups, and it does have the UV islands. If we come down here to the UV map, we can morph these. And I want to get something somewhere like this back. Alright, and I'm not going to get in a whole lot of detail, so just bear with me because this might turn into a long video if I get in full detail. Alright, my next step is, uh, let's say here, um, I'm going to go to the Z plugin. I got this Q measure guide. If you want to try it, check out my other videos and you can try this little plugin here. I'm going to be using this. And we're going to close all this up for right now. We're going to need to open this. I'm going to press the UV guides here. Always OK. And we get our guides up here. Um, next step, we want to make sure we have an X cemetery. So both of our polygons on the left side and right side are pretty much even. Let's make sure that's on. And I'm going to crank up the stiffness to, let's say, 99. Don't probably want to go to 100. 100 is too much for this. Get a key message. Now it's about done. You notice I use this key remesh keep guys because I might be able to go over this again with the uh, guides again. If you use this button over here, you will lose the guides. And when you uh, key remesh with the guides more than once, most times it will help improve it. So we're going to let it finish up. And we got some long polygons up here in the arm and I want to do that one more time. So let me just go ahead and save this real quick. And we'll try that one more time. I probably want to go a little bit lower on the polygons, so let me turn this to half and see what it's going to do. Okay, it's finished, and this is what I got right here. And if I switch up here between the histories, you can see this is the first time I cube meshed it, and I got a bunch of ones that are going back and forth. Uh, they're not going straight across and the finished one is like this and everything looks a lot better then when I get to this step I want to export this as an OBJ and we're gonna put it in a folder and we're gonna call this check guide low this is gonna be a low one and we want to make it kind of low because we're gonna take this into another application and a lot of other applications can't handle a lot of polygons now I got this loaded in hexagon and I can do things a lot easier. So if I was to, uh, let's say, select a face down here and loop this, sometimes you'll have to loop it twice to get it to go in the direction that you want. When you hold the control key and drag up, this is like ZBrush's uh, auto mask. But ZBrush auto mask, you can't really see what you're going or getting when it's done. Here, what you see is what you get. And it's real easy. So I want to find somewhere in this arm area where it's going to loop and not mess up. I got to find a certain area, and I kind of really already know, but I'm going to show you where it's going to happen. So if we're going to loop this, well, that's the wrong loop. If I loop it again, it's still not looping right. All right, you got to find that area where it's going to loop right. Click once, click twice, still not looping right. Right here, I'm pretty sure it's going to loop right there. It's going to loop here and loop it again. Now this is looped all the way around it. Now I'm going to turn on the cemetery. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hold the control key and just hold it down and just drag in this direction. Now, if I go ahead, since cemetery is on, and I go to cut this, well, I've got saw only one arm. I want both arms, so we're going to control Z this and open this up. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a new shading domain. Then when we do this, we'll click the domain right here and click it. And once we do that, you can see that one got highlighted. Let's allow us to cut both at the same time. So we're cut and paste this. So we're on this domain here. And uh, 
I'm going to go ahead uh, for this example. I'm going to split this one more time. So I'm going to select here. Loop it. Loop it. I'm going to loop it long way. I'm going to put a seam right kind of a uh, halfway mark and just drag it around just a little bit. Hold the control key. And get something like that. Then I'm going to create a new shading domain. Let's make sure we got our X cemetery on. And we're going to select it. Going to edit, cut, edit, edit, paste. Just hide both of these here. My next step is I'm going to go for this uh, hoodie here, and uh, I need to find a good, a good place where it's going to loop. And I'm going to show you, I kind of know already where it's going to loop good at, but if I select here, and I loop this, and loop it again, like I said, you got to loop twice sometimes, click it, well, it's going downwards. I want it to find that area where it's going to loop good. All right, still a little too low there, and it's looping to the front, loop and loop. All right, there's where it stopped, pretty much right there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hold the control key and drag up. All right, and I'll probably have to paint a few of these here. here now I'm not gonna make a domain out of this because I'm gonna cut just half this so I'm gonna be able to go to edit cut Oop, control Z this we have a problem here we need to have these painted in edit, cut and it's still messing up on me I think I know what it was All the dim ones there, they're not gonna get uh, cut. Now they're all they're all real dark, so you should be able to cut the whole thing this time. And edit paste. Now I still need to split this up a little bit, so I need to split this in half actually. Alright, control key and drag out. Control key and drag over. Make sure we only got half. Edit, cut. Edit, paste. We'll hide that. Hide that, and bring here. Now we're gonna do half of this here. So we're gonna double click, activate that base mode. Loop that. Hold the control key and drag out. Well, let me just get rid of this. Uh, pockets here real quick. Drag it across. New domain. Select the domain. Edit. Cut. Edit. Paste. I'm going to hide that. Then we're going to do a shirt here. Select face mode. Loop that. Control key and drag across. We don't want to cross too far, so make sure you stop where it meets the middle and drag upwards until you think you know where the halfway mark is. And you can actually drag down as long as you don't go too far. Make sure everything's right. You might have to paint in a few, which is no problem. Just click with the shift key and just drag and paint these in. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I got all these. New domain. Select the domain. Edit. Cut. And edit. Paste. Now I'm going to split this in the middle here. So we're going to loop that and drag across. Let's hide that other one back there. A few 
few here, not a problem. So we got all of them. Then what we're going to do is we're not going to, I'm going to split this so I won't need a domain. Uh, and we're just going to go edit, cut, edit, paste. We'll hide these two here and we're going to go into the back. And we're going to do, we'll split this back up here. Loop that, drag across. That looked like it worked. Cut, edit, paste, and go to utility, show hide in this object, show all, and bring these back. And we're going to export this back as an OBJ with all these little separate pieces here. So we're going to file, export, obj, and call this x, done. Of course you want to save your hnx file if you want to, so we'll just save that. Okay, now what we want to do is uh, we want to select this polymesh 3D star here. Press F on the keyboard to frame that back. And under the import options, we want to uh, weld these. So we'll select here, and we can import that, and press X done. Then you can see this, all right? Uh, if we shift click on here, we got our own polygroups, all right? Which is good. And we want to double check this and divide this one time, all right? Because if they're not welded, these things will separate apart. And we don't want that, so we want to make sure this is all welded up. Now I know it's got a little gap here in the front, and that could have been fixed later, but we're going to control Z to not worry about that right now. So now that we got all this, let's turn the display property on double. And I want to get my UVs back so like I kind of got like on the other program um, for Marvelous Designer 2. And now I got my key remesh here. So this next step is really simple, and this will pretty much uh, show you uh, how to get your UV on his back or somewhat so we go to the UV master and all you got to do is make sure we're doing cemeteries on and polygroup since it's polygroup now this will unwrap and we're going to unwrap it and when this is done let's close all this up and we go to the UV map and we press morph and then there's our islands back and then they're all quads so this is pretty nifty if you want to get your UVs back do one more time and I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up